Um, how about how would I solve this equation for x? Good. Now, you slightly, pardon? A uh, thousand? Yeah. Well, you can check that in your calculator. Is three to the thousandth power equal to ten? Uh, and the answer is no. If you multiply three times itself a thousand times, I think that might even be too big for your calculator to do. That's a huge number. I think what you're thinking of is ten to the third is a thousand. But that's different from what this equation is saying. You were on the right track, uh, but let's do that a little bit more step by step. The hard, why is this hard to solve? Because there is a variable in the exponent. We're not going to be able to solve this until we bring the variable down out of the exponent. We can't solve this until we bring the variable down out of the exponent. But we just learned something that brings variables down out of exponents, which is taking natural logs. So I should take the natural log of the right-hand side, because that will bring the, the variable down out of the exponent. But you're not allowed to just take the log of one side. Algebra says that if you take the log of one side, you must take the log of the other side. So it's still the same equation. <laughs> And now we can go on to the step that you already mentioned. Now we bring the x down using this rule down here. So this becomes x times log 3 equals log 10. And now we're home free, and we can solve this like a normal equation by dividing both sides by log 3. Do you call both of them log, the log and the line? Oh, yeah. So this is a log, and this is a log. Um, if you have to distinguish, you should call this the natural log. And you should call, um, or you could call this the log base e. And I would call this just the regular log or the log base 10. Um, you, your instructor did mention this in, in lecture, but most of the work is using the natural log. So that's why I'm using that in our examples. Although you could have done this with the regular log as well. You could have taken the regular log of both sides as well, because this trick works for any type of logarithm. Uh, yeah, so technically I should call this x equals natural log of 10 divided by natural log of 3. But um, I think I'm going to be lazy and just call it the log, unless I'm trying to distinguish between these things. Okay. This is, uh, this is not very good handwriting, but this is supposed to be ln for natural log, the way it would look on your calculator. And now you can do this on your calculator and figure out what x is. So now we've learned some powerful new algebra. How do you know when to use this trick? When there's variables in the exponents. Watch for variables in the exponents. Anytime you see a variable in the exponent, you've got to get it out of there, or you can't solve the equation. So you get the variable in the exponent out of the exponent by taking the log of both sides. You could take either the natural log or the log base 10, but usually in this chapter, I think we'll take the natural log. If there's a variable in the exponent, you can get it out of there by taking the natural log of both sides. That's the usefulness of this trick. That's one of the reasons why people learn about logs, because they let us, because before you knew about this, you, um, you, you wouldn't know how to solve this equation. Okay. So that expands our, uh, our algebra. Do both of them give the same answer so you could use either one? That's right. So that would be a good little homework exercise. You could check on your calculator that these give you the same number. Okay. All right. The only thing is, if you use log, the natural log here, you have to use the natural log here. Or if you use the regular log here, you have to use the regular log here, because you have to be doing the same thing to both sides. But all logs follow this rule. Okay. So um, what's the algebra that we've learned? The algebra is, if you have a variable in the exponent, get, get it down by taking the log of both sides. And if you have a variable inside of a log, get rid of it by doing this transformation changing it into a statement about base e. That gets rid of the natural log. So sometimes you want to put the log in, and sometimes you want to take it out. OK. So those are the tools that we'll need.